morning YouTube I uh, as you can see there's been another storm here today for last night storm pretty hard got about another inch but I've been over to the neighbors picked up a new piece of equipment got an older powder river calf table see up until this point we've always thrown our calves no matter how many we had we just threw them and, and uh, did it that way but now we don't have to do that anymore and that'll be awfully nice I got this uh, paid 500 bucks for it which really isn't a bad price it's in pretty good condition so one of the neighbors was uh, quitting with the ranching and so he wanted to get rid of his calf table and uh, we got it but I got to take the head gate down and uh, or I got to take the head gate off and put it on the other side because it's set up for for right hand brands and we do left hand brands so we're going to get up to the shop and uh well, actually i'm going to go talk to dad for a bit first but going to get up to the shop and then we'll get her done go what I got to do is just take four bolts out to switch this head gate nothing severe just this bolt this bolt and then there's two on the bottom <clears throat> and we can switch the head gate over to the side the other side for uh, left hand brands that'll be good get that done unfortunately you probably won't see this in action I don't uh, I won't do videos of uh, working cows just because of once again some of the controversy that arise from the arises from the uh, animal activists and such but at the very least you can see it here and uh, make my life a lot easier our lives a lot easier won't have to tackle calves anymore <laughs> that'll be well that'll be a blessing to say the very least but let's get her done and uh, get it down to the down to the working well there we are that's uh that's that i guess for those of you that don't really know how a calf table works i can show you real quick basically what you do it's like a little chute that tips but what you do is you run the calf in here through the squeeze alley and i've shown a little bit of that just like you would the normal chute calf puts his head in there and you grab the head up and then this is the squeeze mechanism so you I got this a little tied up here, but you pull back on that, and as you pull back on that handle, it squeezes up the calf, and then all you do is you pull this down, and it sets the calf up like so, on its side. Pretty simple like. 
and then you're free to work the calf however you know it gets it so you can actually get at the calf and do what you need to to it now the old method would have been to run the calf out of the squeeze alley which would have been up here you run the calf out of the squeeze alley and if there was two of us there'd be one person branding and shooting and tagging and the other person would be grabbing the calf well you'd wrap the rear hoof with a with a rope and then you'd grab onto the front legs and you'd stretch the calf out flop them down and hold them down on the ground while somebody brands them and it gets when you got a hundred plus calves that gets to be well it gets to be a lot of work so this is a far preferable method basically you know and then when you're done is run the shoot back up like so and grab this lever and let go of the calf you know push in on this one let go of the calf same here pick up this lever open up the head gate calf goes out run another one in where we don't uh, have a lot of help here as a general rule it uh, makes it so two people can work a lot of calves really quick so anyways that's the basic concept of it but I got the head gate moved around for the for the left hand brands and uh, yeah, we're all set to go can't wait to give it a try I don't think we're going to be working calves at this point today because it got really wet last night and that's not a good time to be working calves so we'll probably wait till tomorrow the weather's supposed to get a little nicer but I guess until then uh, yeah we'll catch you guys in another video